I'd love to do some jury jeopardy later to figure out like who versus who, what do the matchups look like? I think she has a sizable chunk of people in her corner. Should she make it to the end alongside people that are not bigger threats than her? Can we do it now? Um, yeah. I, I do feel like that the um, just completely like, um, you know, I, I don't want to say like worst case scenario because uh, I think it would be fun, but it's I, I've, I've called it like the all hell breaks loose scenario. Yeah, the, no, the, uh, weird, the weird case Ga scenario. Gab yeah, Gabler, Owen, Cassidy, final three. I, I think that that's sort of like, okay, the two the two biggest players in terms of like their presence on the season are gone at that point. And then it's really like a crap shoot final three in Cassidy, uh, uh, Owen and Gabler. And I was talking about this scenario last night where, especially like if Cassidy has rattles off a couple of other immunity challenges, uh, potentially like final five, you know, I lost a survivor season uh, to uh, a woman who, you know, somehow that despite like not being thought of as like a big challenge threat one for immunity challenges. So uh, like it definitely like is an impressive thing when somebody stands there and is like, Hey, I won three immunity challenge. I won four immunity challenges. Okay. Uh, that's, that's a big, uh, you know, a uh, resume point for, uh, for someone that's sitting there at the final three. So, all right, let's just hypothetically go, yeah. let's go through it. The, the, the all hell breaks loose scenario. Def okay. The DEFCON 1 scenario. De De DEFCON 1, okay? And let me see. Uh, could we uh, do this uh, potentially here? Mike, you start talking. I'm going to see if I can br if I could potentially uh, bring up a visual aid for us. Okay, perfect. Because, yeah, I have some ideas here. So let's go in chronological order based on jurors. I want to start with Janine. Because Janine, people might just say, oh, Owen, uh, you know, they were tight. Owen voted alongside her with the Ellie stuff. Uh, you know, he feigned not voting for her, uh, even though maybe Cassidy, that could be something that she speaks to. I think Janine would be a vote for Cassidy, personally. Now, again, this is something we didn't really see, but Janine told me in her exit interview that she was actually really close with Cassidy. We saw this actually in her boot episode where, like, we see her go to Cassidy to, like, not only go there for comfort uh, in, you know, the wake of Dwight's blind side, but also to like perhaps pitch some stuff as well. I think there's a relationship there. And I think wanting to like support another woman winning as well. I think Janine would be a vote for Cassidy here. Okay. Um, I could see it. We saw that uh, Cassidy was very upset about Janine uh, potentially being voted out of the game. Uh, Cassidy cast that vote, uh, that rogue vote against uh, Ryan at that tribal council. So, okay, I will, uh, I will give that to you. Although I think it would be unlikely that Janine would not vote for Owen. I feel like that they were pretty close throughout the game. No, I mean, I think that's definitely a qualifier too, but also remember like she is, you know, a little detached from the game at this point. It's quite the opposite of what I was talking about with Cody. She's been sitting there for a good little while at this point and she's watched a lot of tribal councils it could depend also on like the way that they pitch themselves there's something i want to talk about with that later on as well i think we got some possible intel actually that i think will play very well into this i don't know if you saw this rob but dalton ross much like we were able to ask questions of the survivor contestants pre-season and he has sort of been sprinkling them throughout uh, whereas we sort of like front loaded them and he released an article today on the day we're recording this that had the Survivor players talking about if they were to make the final three, like what's one thing you would or wouldn't do in the final tribal council? And I think actually that's a fantastic litmus test perhaps into not only what a possible final three would do in front of the jury, but what jurors would and would not want to see finalists do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, any interesting takeaways? So nothing from Janine. I think as we go further down the line, we can probably uh, talk about that as well. But yeah, I think Janine, I'm still going to say Cassie, but I could see an argument for Owen as well. Okay. All right. Uh, with the help of uh, my uh, Steve Kornacki-esque big board, okay? Uh, I've seen enough. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. So, Mike, here is the uh, projected final tribal council in uh, this scenario, uh, which we, we will call the uh, all hell uh, breaks loose uh, scenario. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Jesse and Carla are out of the game. Okay. Uh, we have uh, awarded a jury vote for Cassidy to Janine. Okay. 
All right. Uh, Mike, uh, the next member of the jury was going to be James, correct? Yeah, and of course we know James, a shoe and vote for Owen. Uh, just 100%, <laughs> all water under the yeah. bridge. Yes, uh, but uh, James, I bet he was tight with Cassidy. He could be Coco Strong. Oh, he's definitely Coco Strong. Cassidy did, unlike Carla, did not vote him out. Uh, and he actually has said that like Cassidy was like one of his day ones. So yeah, I think it's safe to say James would be a big vote for Cassidy. Okay. All right. Um, there you go. All right. Uh, that's that's two potentially. Okay. We know Ryan. He is not going to be a vote for Cassidy, right? Ryan's a G man. He's voting for Gabler. Uh, Gabler more than yeah. Owen. I definitely. They had a lot of bonding out there. We saw scenes right where Gabler was out there on the right. raft with Ryan. It's clear that Gabler really valued Ryan. He was one of the people that was saying we can't get rid of him at the Janine vote. They had a lot of like similar outdoorsiness that I think yeah. they valued. The thing is here with this scenario, this all hell breaks loose scenario, uh, is that you know the people that could go for Gabler or for Owen. Like, uh, the, the, those two guys both coming from Baca, both kind of being at the bottom, like they could split their votes. Like, uh, th this could be potentially like, uh, you know, a four two two final tribal council. That's interesting. Yeah. That it's like, uh, you know, Gabe learn says, I have a plan to get us to the final three and it's going to screw us both. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So after Ryan goes out, it's Noel. I would think while Noel, I think is, uh, probably does want a strong woman to win. She had been so tight with Owen, who was her uh, closest person. Where do you think Noel would go? See, it's a good question because like you said, from an interpersonal perspective, Owen, I think, would make the most sense. He yeah. was in lockstep with her. Perhaps By the way, we are officially in a Brant Steel uh, in this scenario. Exactly. Who's bonding with who? Who's ready to flip someone's bed right now? I mm -hmm. guess Gabler did in the form of putting palm tree uh, <laughs> yeah. blankets on top of people. Okay. So Owen, I think, is definitely up there. But could this be something where if your scenario of like Cassidy beasting out on challenges ends up happening, mm -hmm, could this be like a competitor respects competitor thing of like, here is I'm someone who is ultra competitive, ultra athletic. You were able to prove yeah. that athleticism as well. For the sake of making this more fun and not a total Cassidy runaway, let's give let's give Noel to Owen. Yeah, I think okay. so. Oh, we, we, Owen deserves something at the end of the day. Let's give him something. Let's give Charlie Brown a, a kiss with the redheaded girl, even though mm -hmm. Noelle's a brunette. Yeah. Okay. So then, hypothetically, uh, well, uh, Sammy. Okay. Where's Sammy's uh, vote going to go? He was tight. Again, this is one of those ones where it's like uh, Owen and Gabler, I think, are splitting some of these votes. Do you think that this is uh, Owen or this is going to be Gabler? I guess I would think that Owen will be a better final tribal council performer. See, that's the thing. All I need right now in this finale, I'd be satisfied with anything that has Mike Gabler sitting at the end because we've been talking about this all season long. I've called him Gay Ibler uh, because like this man just talks so oddly, like he's some sort of machine learning algorithm brought to life. Yeah, like he's a chat Hold API. Yeah. Uh, uh, but so I think that like he just has such weird things considering one of the first things we heard him say is when my children before they were hatched, we were watching Survivor. <laughs> mm -hmm. This man just he says, I he said, I carumba this episode. Yeah. for Whatever reason, like he just got unfrozen. Uh, he, he definitely did. Yeah. I carumba. Yeah. Gabler uh, perhaps thinks he's a playing one of the, one of the AI first Karumba, maybe, Mike. Exactly. Uh, he, Karumba. Just, he just misread it. Maybe maybe Gabler thinks this is the first season of Survivor, right? He's playing super old school. He's quoting things that were popular most in the 90s. Uh, maybe that's what the, the era that Gabler finds himself in, despite the fact that he's dressing like he's from the 1890s with that prospector hat. Mm -hmm. So Sammy, I think Sammy has respect for Gabler. Uh, at least from like my sense of talking with him, it seemed like while he obviously did not have, he had a hot and cold relationship with him. He doesn't meant like my game went south when I let mm -hmm. Gabler go. And I think were Gabler to come forward with this game that he has promised to us of I am the assassin, I am the crocodile, I'm the assassinating crocodile, I'm the assassinator, if you will. Uh, I think that Sammy would be the one that'd be most yeah. likely to swallow that tripe. Okay. Um, Let's talk about Cody. Okay. I asked Cody specifically, 
like I, I've definitely, you know, been very curious about where does Cassidy stand in all this. I, I asked Cody, like, can you give me a sense of where you felt like in the game Cassidy was strategically? He said he felt like that she was Carla's person. He didn't see really much of anything that she was doing strategically. Now she maybe is not working with him. He did say he had some really great spiritual connections with Cassidy, but from a game perspective, uh, he was not clicking with Cassidy. Based off of that answer, I, that did not sound like a person that would have voted for Cassidy at the final tribal council. This guy's another Gabler guy. He's one of the G-men. Slam he, dunk. Yeah, okay. Because I think, you know, when we when I asked Cody about what his final three plan was, it was going to be that brothers in arms odd arm handshake that they did in the split tribal council, right? He wants to go to the end with Gabler and with Jesse, A, because he thought he could beat them, but B, he's like, Gabler's a loyal guy. He's a man of his word. Owen, as an example, is somebody who I think would have a better underdog story. So I take him out at four and I go to the end with Gabler. I think Cody would still honor that in a manner of speaking, as well as I think have some respect of like, I was the big threat that you had to take out. And so I wouldn't mm -hmm. see many reasons in this scenario for Cody not to vote for Gabler here. Yeah. And then with Jesse and Carla, I don't know how they how the two of them go out. Um, you know, Carla, I, I don't know. Unless unless she goes out in some way where she's really burned by Cassidy. Uh I I, I feel like that Carla would be a Cassidy vote. I and think I, I think so. Yeah. I think it's very much a like, yeah, we went on acrimonious terms, but look how far we've come. And I'm so proud of what you were able to do. Like there's there's sometimes that vote that happens right of like, thank you for continuing my journey for me in a manner of speaking. Mm -hmm. And I could see Carla paying that respect vote to Cassidy. And and I wonder if Jesse does he want to lose to Gabler? At the end of the day, when you sit up and think about what took food out of your children's mouths, do you really want to say, I lost to Mike Gabler? Well, I said in the Jamal podcast that I'm wondering if, like, the exhaust port on the Jess star could be Gabler. <laughs> What a is one that, in a million shot, is, is kid. That the one in a million thing that he is just not thinking of that the, the betrayal is coming from the assassin who's going to put the poison in the bowl of the king and take out Jesse. Could Jesse say, uh, you know what? I'm I'm throwing my lot in. Uh Carla and I, we are both voting for Cassidy. Uh, yeah. So when you're talking about the assassin situation, are you predicting like Gabler wins immunity and throws Jesse in. Are you predicting Gabler beats Jesse in the final uh, fire making? Um, either of those uh, scenarios, uh, I, I think, are potentially possible. Yeah, because it's interesting. We obviously have to look back on like, can so and so make fire? Can this person make fire? They've been very hidden with the fire making scenes. There was a scene in the premiere where Gabler couldn't start the fire on day two. And so mm -hmm. Sammy stepped in to do it. I think that more so played to Sammy's arc than it did to Gabler, considering Sammy gets taken out partially because mm -hmm. he's such a fire making threat. But that's the only evidence I've seen out of these five as to who can make fire and who can't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe Jesse feels like, okay, I can count on Gabler going to the final three. Uh, maybe in Gabler wins a final four immunity uh, and then throws Jesse into the fire after uh, promising him he was going to take him to the end. That's what Cody wanted to do, throw Jesse into the fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and honestly, at this point where we're talking about this, where uh, if Cassidy has this four... Is there anything that's more Charlie Brown than being a zero vote finalist? Uh, I, like, is, is Noel also jump on? Is this maybe five three zero? Mm, so for Cassidy uh, Owen throws out a pitch at final travel council. A la Charlie Brown, he gets hit by the pitch, tossed up in the air, and all his clothes fall off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, uh, I could easily see this also as. Um, Owen gets uh, gets these guys, these guys, uh, Ryan and Sammy and Cody, and they go Owen instead of Gabler. But I kind of feel like that these Cassidy votes feel more solid in this scenario. Yeah, and I mean, a Gabler second place would be stunning, considering again, this is the guy who in the premiere said, "I know I'm an idol." But I'm playing shot in the dark tonight. Mm -hmm. Screw it. I know I screwed things up. Like this man was the ultimate wild card. I mean, what I appreciate the editors doing is building up 
the assassin metaphor that you mentioned of like Gabler explaining his game to us where that disconnect is for me. We have not heard anybody really talk about why they're working with Gabler. I feel like we've gone that for so many. Exactly. Nobody wants to hang out with Bart Simpson. He's a truant. No one's going to be the millhouse <laughs> there. And so I think when it comes Eat to my Bart... shorts, <laughs> exactly. Uh, I don't have a cow, man. Uh, that's what Gabler's going to say when uh, he ends up beating Jesse in the final four fire making. When it comes to that, I feel like that's a part of the story that we're missing. And I wonder if it's because people are like, yeah, well, Gabler's kind of a goat. Sort of like the story we got, but didn't get about Romeo, where they mm -hmm. can't outright tell us who's a goat because they don't want to spoil that final outcome. They want to try to give everybody as fair of a shake as possible until the final travel council happens and someone summarily gets shut down. But I just think it's so interesting that we have all these things about Gabler talking about himself, but we haven't heard like, why does Owen want to work with Gabler? Why does Cody want to work with Gabler? Yeah, Owen doesn't have any other options, I think, is a big part of it. <laughs> Can we try one other thought experiment? Uh, could we just sub out either Owen or Gabler for Carla and yeah, see let's what do that it. looks like? Okay. Uh, who do you think? Yeah, I, like, I, I've said I, I, that I feel like that Owen, in my mind, uh, is the most likely person to go out at five. I feel like that people are going to be worried about him, especially that if everybody comes for Jesse and Jesse can write down one name uh, and Ben bomb somebody out of the game, I, I think that maybe that person will be Owen. I could see that because I know that, yeah, I know that there was a lot of 4D chess happening, right, of like, well, Carla is basically in an iron lung at this point. Like she's no, she's no, uh, you know, threat in the final four challenge. But I don't know. I think Carla just to me fits the bill too much of like we saw with Ricard, like we see with Lindsay. The first phone in these five personalities always seems to be like very open and shut. This person's a huge threat to win the final jury vote. Let's make sure they don't get that far. Which, yeah, is a little more boring. But hey, it's surprising that despite there being a final three and a final four fire making challenge, who would have guessed, Rob, that if you're a big threat, you're eventually going to get voted out as survivor. It's mm -hmm. almost like if you put in artificial constructs in the end to try to make big players get to the end, all players are going to do is eventually push against it and just get rid of the big players anyway, because that's the point of the freaking game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But in this scenario, we'll put Carla here. We'll do the, uh, the CKG. Okay. All right. So let's let's run through it. We can do it a little, a little bit quicker this time. Okay. Uh, this time around, uh, Janine, uh, no reason to think uh, that she had a particularly strong bond with uh, with Carla, correct? So we'll keep her uh, yeah, as a Cassidy vote. Yeah, it seemed like at least we saw the, the Cassidy one. We didn't really see the Carla one. I, I'll have to look back at my interview to see if she talked about her. I would imagine, Car I mean, listen, Carla had a relationship with every grain of sand out there on the beach. I'd imagine mm -hmm. she had a relationship with her, but yeah. for whatever reason, we'll throw it in Cassidy here. You don't think that James is going to be salty with Carla, do you? I don't. Mm, I think James might have some questions, at least, that would need to be answered at the final tribal council as to mm -hmm. like, oh, you knew about this and you didn't tell me? But for the sake of this conversation, let's say, uh, you know, Carla, I think she would be really tough at that final tribal council. I definitely think so. I mean, so James in this Dalton Ross interview that I talked about before, he said at the final tribal council, he wants people to be humble, but own their moves. He doesn't mm -hmm. want you to come forward and be like, I was so much better than you all, but he doesn't want you to completely supplicate yourself. Yeah. Don't get on your knees, maybe get in a squat. Uh, yeah. perhaps. And Carla does not supplicate, table. okay? Absolutely not. Uh, so, okay. yeah, I would I would imagine that James, it's tough. Those are his two tightest allies that are up there. He did say Ca uh, Cassidy was his day one, but I think he might have been tighter with Carla near the end. Okay. Uh, for the sake of this, let's say he votes for Carla. Let's put Ryan back with Gabler. So it's 1-1-1 one, oh, yeah. one, one at this point. Yeah, okay? he, hated, he hated Coco by the end of it. So yeah, any, <laughs> ABC, anybody but Coco. <laughs> anybody but Coco. Okay. Uh, all right. Then after that, uh, let's go to Noel. Okay. Uh, Noel. Okay. That th This should be, we were sort of on the fence between Cassidy and Owen for Noel with Owen out of the picture. Let's make that a clean... Cassidy vote for Noel. Yeah, though again, like if Carla is able to persevere, maybe somehow wins another immunity challenge. Is that another thing for Noel of like, damn, look yeah. what you were able to do? Noel did say about Carla at the last tribal council, like, hey, that looks like me out there. 
So and maybe she feels like that she's seeing somebody who's reminding her of herself. Representation matters. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, in the chat, Dirty Dancer here very astutely says, Ooh. Sammy loves Carla. Yeah, Sammy called Carla an aunt, uh, mm -hmm. much to her chagrin. I got to imagine he votes for her. Okay, so let's put a, let's put a Sammy sweetheart on Carla <laughs> over here. You're going to okay. write a note about uh, what Carla might have done wrong to Sammy mm -hmm. and leave it on the computer? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that takes us back to Cody, uh, and Cody, you know, he, he had a lot of respect for Carla. He did have like really great conversations with Gabler. I think that this Cody vote is between Gabler and Carla. Yeah. I definitely think Cassidy is counted out here. I mean, it depends. Cause yeah, I mean, Carla technically didn't vote him out, right? Like Carla was going along with the plan that he suggested, but is there some also some bitterness of like, you shouldn't even be there. If my mm -hmm. big master plan had happened, I just got big brained on top of the big brain. I got galaxy brained. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't her fault. Like she didn't do anything to him. Like he was coming no. for her. She unbeknownst, she trusted him and was going for Owen. Yeah. So I think maybe make it a Carla vote then. Okay. Um. Let's see. Okay. So Cody goes for a uh, Carla, um, especially did she get Jesse out of the game? Like, I think that that would definitely be like points uh, in the Cody book, whoever uh, was the person responsible for taking Jesse out. Um, then Owen, I guess he would go out at five in this scenario. Uh, does Owen throw his vote in with uh, with Gabler? Uh, does uh, no, he, no, I think does he vote? He's been close with Cassidy. I think he votes for Cassidy. I would actually say, I think Owen and Jesse would both vote for Carla. I think these are two, like, devout fans of the game. I think they, like, look at the biggest, flashiest game of the three and be like, okay, we should, we, I don't, no matter what our feelings might be on the person, let's throw our votes there. Uh, I feel like that people vote for the person that they have the best connection with, uh, more so than resume. I know Owen is a super fan uh, mm -hmm. and is probably looking to resume, and maybe there was something that was forged that day as they were both under the don't, grate. Don't say forged. For, that's a bad word for Cody. <laughs> for for uh, the, for two and a half hours, uh, as they both they both won the immunity challenge that day. So maybe there's a, like a real mutual respect there. But just in terms of a working relationship in the game. They've never been on the same page, Owen and Carla. Yeah, I mean, Owen was actively working against Carla this episode, right? Yeah. Like, every and single thing, he's like, this is great because it allows me to get out Carla, which is my goal for this episode. And to me, Owen has a real relationship with Cassidy in the game. I feel like that Owen often is the only person you see, like, uh, like talking strategy with Cassidy and vice versa. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Jay Pizza Rolls in the chat says, I think Cody votes for Tablet, which uh, <laughs> is, the, is the interface that they are using to produce Gabler. So I suppose Tablet is close <laughs> enough to Gabler. So how about this, Mike? Just for the sake of making this a fun conversation, let's make this uh, a 3-3-1 three, three, vote at this point with Jesse getting to cast the deciding vote uh, I love this. for Carla or Cassidy. I, I love this because no matter this or the all hell breaks loose scenario, I think this has been a very underratingly messy season. I have mm -hmm. been pumping this out this entire time. Maybe it's because one of the tribe names rhymes with messy, but I feel like this is a particular season where like, at least on Island, these people are really not caring for each other. We had some of like the biggest on Island arguments that we have seen in a long time between Ellie and Gabler, between James and Owen. So I think it only makes sense that we end in the messiest way possible, either yes. in that very unlikely final three scenario here or a 4-3-1 eventual vote. 4-3-1. And so I think that Jesse would vote for Carla. I think Jesse would vote for Carla as well. Unless like, and again, I don't even know how she would betray him and in a way that like makes him so upset. Um, I, I think that um, it would be a vote for Carla. So look, Carla's Carla's guys all ultimately uh get her would get her the win here. Uh James, Sammy, Jesse, and Cody. And uh, that would be very super interesting. 